Yeah. Yeah. Can you guys dial in some more homes? I, I, I'm, I'm just, we need more homes for sale in Southern California. Well, it looks like nobody can bring in more inventory in Southern California. I just dialed it up with the governor and he doesn't have any solution either. We're going to get into that article as well. Several other ones today in Real Estate Daily. Welcome, everyone. My name is Troy. And every day, Monday through Friday, we go over the latest news in housing, real estate, and the mortgage market. Yes, you'll get those pesky little interest rates that just don't want to come down. They just seem to want to float up all the way to the top. Well, before we jump into it, I know there's buyers out there. They're not freaking out over all the crap that's happening in the world and they're still looking for it. So if you are one of those and you want to learn how the process goes, hit the, the link down below and get a free buyer's guide. There it is, right? There, there it is. Bing, 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 bing. Free 100%. It is the most in-depth buyer's guide you're ever going to see. I would appreciate it as well. Now, if, we, if you get that free buyer's guide, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button here. We want to continue to grow it. I'm looking for 1,800 Lord, give me 1,800 subscribers. Yes, I am desperate. No other comment. Let's jump right into it. This is from Market Watch, and this is from May 25th. Who day? It says, lack of homes for sale stalls pending sales in April as mortgage rates top 7%. This is what I've been saying. It's a true article. It's not saying that the mortgage market is falling apart or pending sales are falling apart. There's just no houses that people can buy. And because of that, and you know, complicated with the interest rates and some of the three things I went over yesterday that's holding buyers back, we're just not seeing people wanting to sell their homes. There's nowhere to go. The only, only the, the two major groups of people that are, that are selling their homes, number one is moving out of, out of state. Yes, those vans are just taking off. Or number two, we're just seeing people either an elderly or a, an older adult, adults are moving into other facilities and, and selling their homes, not looking to, you know, and their kids are, you know, wanting to use that money to help them age in perfect. Isn't that what you called me, an aging in perfection? Yeah, maybe not. All right, let's jump to the next one. Southern California adds 10,400 real estate jobs in April. This is, this. I'm, I'm actually kind of impressed, you know, that this was brought up now. I do have some reservations whether this is true or not, but you do see here that we're just keep going up. We're on this up trajectory. Uh, and it's, and I'm, I think that some of the reasons why is that people felt that, you know, companies felt that they needed to hire more people because they were feeling that we're going to see a pivot in the, uh, with the Fed. And if the Fed does pivot, we will see the housing market go up and we will see rates go down. There's no question about it. But right now, again, I'll go over the three things real quick. I, it's a summer, you know, the three things that are holding back buyers. Uh, and, and sellers putting their house on the market. Number one, we're just seeing that it's, it's the beginning of summer. A lot of graduations, got a, got a holiday weekend. Everybody wants to get out, go to the river, go to Vegas, you know, just kick it at home, do the barbecue thing with the fam, you know, and not go look at homes and take that, take all the pressure of the world off of you. Number two, the debt ceiling, come on people, figure it out, man. Find some kind of common ground. And number three, Fed, they're never going to figure it out. 400 PhDs, I just continue to see that. Uh, you know, even old fair cha cha chairman are saying, oh, you haven't finished, you haven't finished crushing everyone yet. So we'll see what happens here in June about uh, raising rates. So we're done. Those are, the, those are the things that are holding it back. All right. What's a little disturbing here is U.S. home ownership rate drops to 53-year low and, and, you know, this is a little bit concerning now. If, if you look at it, it says the U.S. Consensus Bureau has released a 2020 consensus demographic profile and demographic and housing characteristics file. God knows what the hell all that means. A data set from 2020 consensus that adds more detail to the nation's population count and basic demographic and housing statistics. Okay. All right. It just sounds like Someone's just trying to talk over my head and give me just throw some stats out there. But I know this much. I know that there's not a whole lot of investors out there because they think that it, they don't want to buy at the top, but you are seeing buyers out there. So I actually think 
that we're seeing more home ownership out there unless in the Midwest states, and we're seeing this a lot, is that some of those new builders are just selling off to uh, selling off to hedge funds and they're renting the entire communities out, which I am not an advocate of whatsoever because it really hurts the home ownership. Like I've said before, fractional mortgage is the way in the future and we don't have to deal, you know, it, it's a, it's a win-win situation for hedge funds as well as for buyers out there. We'll get into it more down the road, but that's it. All right. And let's jump into rates. Yes. Yes. Oh my God. Are we ever going to see a red day? A red day means they're going down. We keep seeing green days. And green day is, is maybe my favorite band, but it's definitely not my favorite color here on these charts. Six point, it went up eight basis points to 6.815. Here, 30-year fix went up another eight basis points to 6.68. Guys, literally, we are just got to get these two things behind us and then we'll see it go. We need to have this debt ceiling behind us because all those, those, negative, uh, those negative projections that if we do default on the debt, then we're gonna jump at least another point plus up on mortgage rates, if not a point and a half. You know, and we've already just seen it go up 500 basis points from last year, about 450 basis points from last year because of the Fed and them just, yeah, them not being very good at their job, let's just call it. So, well, guys, I hope you have a great three-day weekend. Enjoy it. Relax. Take your take all your worries off your plate. Enjoy some barbecue and some family. And we will see you back here again on Tuesday. You take care.